This is Sergio at 18 for birdie. And that got the fireballs to eight under in a tie with Crusher. Martin Keimer, this for a bounce back birdie at the par five fourth. One of two par fives on the course. Nicely done. Charles Schwartzel with his third at number 10. Playing a little minor loft shot from just inches off the green. Big swing for a short shot there. And it is perfect. Well, the fireballs lead by a stroke. Thomas Peters has a big role to play this weekend for the Range Goats, trying to secure a bye. The spectacular scene on the shores of the Red Sea here in Jeddah. Abe Anser is having a good day. That was for Birdie at 52 degrees. Looks good. Oh! Oh! That fly in? I believe it did. <laughs> yeah. Straight in. It certainly bucket. did. Well, originally it wasn't. A little tight, Charles Howe the third for the lead. How about that? This one. As it comes down. Beautiful little punch shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> this doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Paul Casey for birdie at seven. And the Englishman knocks that one in. Oh, yes. Wow. Goes in at a great pace. Looks very good. Anna Van Lahiri, disappointing day yesterday, two over par, but he can reset today and contribute to his side as they seek that number one seeding. That was his third shot at 18. With the Crushers and Sergio Garcia's fireballs. This is Sergio's second into the sixth hole. Mm. Look at this. Out of this whole location, unlike Mark Leachman's shot. Fabulous from Harold Vaughn of the third. Plays for the high flyers who are in a tie for fourth place on nine under par. And that gets him to four under individually. After his round yesterday, absolutely fascinating. Always to chat to Patrick. This is his second at the sixth. He is three under par for the competition so far. Uh oh. oh. Sergio on the tee at the eighth. He's just a couple of shots out of second place. And maybe improving. Charles Howell the third with his second at 11. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> one bouncing in like a frog. Flies one in, one hops one in. Both are rare. Difficult hole. Waco Neiman. Going. Love it when a plan comes together. I know so. Much lower. Oh, this is really good if it's the right distance. Oh, what a peach. Fireballs are in solo second place. Ian Poulter, one over par for the competition. This for Birdie at six, and he'll be delighted with that. A stroke behind the Range Goats now. So the Range Goats looking to leap over Stinger GC into fourth spot, which would be a first round by in Miami in the team championship next weekend. Richard Bland shot is playing there. beautifully. Scott Benson, his second shot over the water at 18. Oh, and a beauty. He's going oh, well, Scott Benson. Shot. That'll be for Eagle. Well, time for a don't blink, don't you think? 
Carlos Ortiz for birdie at 15. He plays for the Fireballs. His score not counting at the moment, even though he's two under par. He's, he's not aiming at anything else. It's pretty good. It might have to get down. Yeah, it got down all right. Got down about four feet away. That was for birdie at the fourth, and the Range Goats are in fourth place, and crucially for them, ahead of the Stingers, which would get them a first round by next week. Oh, beautiful little punch shot there from DeChambeau. Yeah, I just thought it was around. Hi, uh, David. I fear for Alf if uh, David was the commissioner of the Live Golf League. Hmm. Oh, Phil, Phil. 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 All right. Over on his round today and a non counting score for Ripper GC. Better speed, better line. Perfect result. The outside have hit the green. Judging by that follow through, yeah, that's a beauty. Ted Morgan putting it. Oh no, putting it with a wood from off the green at five. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh boy, that was a little hybrid or a, a three wood that he bumbled it up there with. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio walking after his second at 13. That's usually a good sign. Oh! Yeah, you don't want to walk backwards after you hit the ball, Jerry. No. DJ at 15. Ball well above his feet. Still out for a little draw, and that's a fabulous shot. Well, Smash have moved up the pylon, largely down to the efforts of their captain. Uh, Brooks Kepka. This was Jason Kokrak. He came into Jeddah 17 points outside of it. He's seven under par in a tie for third. Oh, beautiful shot from Sergio there at 14. Bernd Wiesberger, who is currently just above the drop zone needs every birdie he can get. A former Ryder Cup player for Europe. Just two years ago. Well. Eugenio Chikara for birdie at 13. Oh, yeah, and that, uh, that helps in the team. Shot there from Cam Smith. Charles Howell from the middle of the fairway at 17. That's where you need to be with the flag on the left. Oh, and a beautiful shot. Has a birdie opportunity at five. He didn't, did he? Do you know what? I think he might have done. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. Taylor Gooch gets it to six under par. 18, Mito Pereira with his second shot. It's from the right rough. Boy, that follow through of his is something else. Unique. It's a tough angle. Oh, and he got a dead right. Brilliant shot from Mito Pereira. And that's for Eagle. That would get Torque back in the mix. Come on. One time. Ooh, a dart thrown by Phil there. The other strands that we are following here in our final regular season event is the drop zone. Martin Keimer, his third shot at 18. Oh, yes. And that birdie will... Sergio with his second shot at 17. Very good. Oh, Beautiful yes. Shot. Sergio taps in for his birdie. 
Wow, well, he contemplates it. Brooks does. This is Charles Howell. Gonna go ahead and hit the shot. Little wedge. Stone. On the 11th tee, Anurban Lahiri with the Crushers. Oh, yes. Can kick that in from there. David Pooj, his second shot at nine. Oh, yeah. Nice one to finish with there for the young man.